Hello and welcome back to Factorio. I will be your host today. Ah, ah. <laughs> Good start. And uh, I have to remember where I was. I think we were making blue signs and we... We sort of looked and saw that... Green signs took 6 seconds and blue signs took 12 seconds. Yes, that's where we were. And then we were going to have this... Go here into a science factory, like that, and then they will we'll all be able to hang on no because they don't have the right inserters yet. So might as well get some of that. Now I'm a bit nervous about continuing because uh, I don't usually get this far and still be happy with my factory. So it happens quite often that I uh, restart around this point. So I still believe that this is one of the most fun um, parts of the game. Is to restart. But I'm quite happy so far with this. I think it's one of my nicest factories thus far. Can't put a light anywhere. It's annoying. And uh, I will definitely continue this for at least a long time still. Okay, so these are all blue signs. Now, blue signs we discovered needed um, advanced circuits, steel plates, smart inserters, and batteries. And uh, I told you that I was going off camera and do some work to see where these batteries should go. And of course, I did not do that at all. Because why would I? And why are you not making any? Because you don't have sulfuric acid. You don't have that because... We don't have sulfur, we don't have that because you don't have petroleum. Yes, it's okay, it, it's enough, I, f I believe. Okay, so we're making these uh, advanced circuits and I need to get them here. Right, right here. And I also need to get... Smilences, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Steel and batteries. So the batteries already come to about here. So I guess we could do that instead and have a little splitter here. Like that and that will be our batteries. Now also we could do the same here and put a splitter there and uh, that will be a steel. Perfect, right? So now we have steel and we have batteries. And the next step would be the red and what else? And the smart inserters. Okay, cool. That is actually really good. These red ones, we could, we can't take them through here because that's too far on the ground. We could put them from here, but I really dislike that a lot seems very messy we could route some like here down but that also seems messy like where the hell is it gonna come out of you know we could no we couldn't yeah we could do that which means we could go from here to there, from there to here. Looks a bit confusing, but I think that works. And from here to there. <laughs> oh, this is messy. This is very, very messy, but uh, then we could take, oh God, give me some, track with 300 thank you that's what I'm talking about now ideally we'd want to uh, I'm not happy with this but I'm also not so unhappy with it that I would say uh, that I'm gonna break it so whatever 
Okay, so that now has red circuits coming all the way down there. Um, all the way here. And we can just hook them up to this directly. Yeah. The only issue I have with that is nothing. Whatever, whatever. I don't have any issues. I'm content. What, what am I making? So you will have to go under from, let's say, there till there. Maybe even more later down the track, but for now that's it. You can go on. Oh, stop being on the belt. There. <laughs> what a mess. Um, I'm not a big fan of this, to be honest. This is such a mess. Okay, well, instead... See, this is the point where I would go... If I were making this from scratch, I would have done it completely differently. Let me start from scratch. <laughs> that's how it generally goes. Okay, well, that's, there's a red circuit. Now, I wish I had this steel here. <laughs> but, we need to make these smart inserters. And smart inserters are very, very easy to make. Basically, you just need normal inserters. What we could do if we were being smart is make them here and just put them on the same belt. That would be kinda neat, actually. We could if we wanted to change this a little bit, so this one is down here and this one is up there, and use these inserters to make the smart inserters, if if we wanted to. You don't have any iron? Oh, whoops. Ahem. You did not see that. <laughs> okay. All good. So that's all doing. That's all doing. Okay. So to make smart inserters, we don't need much. We need a fast inserter, and for a fast inserter, we need a normal inserter. Now, the only one that needs iron gear wheels is this inserter. So let's start with that. Um, we'll do it. I want to give me some space. Actually, I don't. Oh, this is so messy. <laughs> okay. So, remember, we still need to do the uh, combining of stuff. We go. You can go here. You have to move over one. And there you go. You have your your iron ore, your iron plates. So you will be making gears, and you will just be dumping them straight into here, which will make inserters. And you will just not work get lost you will just not work if this one is full of inserters uh, full of iron gear wheels now if we look this inserter needs an iron plate and electro electronic circuit the fast inserter needs the exact same thing plates and circuits and the smart inserter needs the exact same thing minus the uh, the plates so that's quite nice so all we need to do is get two belts up here And because I don't want to save any of this in storage, I will at some point, but not now. I was going to put these in there. You fast inserters and you smart inserters. And all you do... Oh, I didn't plan this out correctly. Okay. 
Well, I mean, it's a little bit ugly, I guess, but... It saves space, so... No, wait, that's, that's not correct. Hmm. A little bit annoying. See, I need this to go with an inserter. Okay, never mind. We can we can just do this. It's fine. I mean, I don't want to be pedantic. With this sort of stuff too much, but uh, definitely a little bit. Definitely a little bit. Okay, so that's fine. And another one. So you will be making inserters, you will be making fast inserters, and you will be making smart inserters. And I'm not going to have any buffer for these. I just I just think I can just make these myself if I need to. Quite quickly. Like they don't like if I take, you know, make 20, you see how fast that goes. It's not not a big deal. All right, so you will need two of these, you'll need two and you'll need two. These belts will have to have to curve. Which is a little bit weird, you know, you, you get this sort of staggered base, but... Eh. Now, we need to have a good look, because this will this will matter. Um, you need one of each, so for you it doesn't matter. You will need two of each, so for you it doesn't matter. But this guy needs four circuits, and only... Uh, and nothing else. So I would prefer to have the plates on this belt and the green thingies on this belt, like that. Okay, there you go, and then. Hang on, this is not, not smart. I prefer to put this lower. But we can't. So... Eh. <laughs> Fine. It's really not my preferred way of doing that, but um, yeah. That's okay. Okay, make some more belts. And now we can just uh, finish this thing off. So look, everything is working again. Yay! We're waking, making way too little of these. And the, the biggest issue is plastic. Yeah, definitely plastic. Everything else is there. It's just plastic. I hit it when I press Q. Uh, that, that shortcut should be removed. Okay, so you output there. And uh, I think all we need to do is power it. Because uh, it looks good to me. Let's make a bunch of these poles. Sick of not having them. There, there, and there. Now let's see if this works. Because I haven't tested it, obviously. Oops. Now, it's not going to make it its maximum efficiency, I think. Because this one makes really fast and it's waiting, going to be waiting for iron ore. For iron plates. But... The question is, do I care? Surely this must be fast enough. To handle this... Just... Well, maybe not, actually. Alright, well, look, we don't care about power, so there you go. Yeah, that, see, that, that's, that's sped it up quite, quite significantly. Where's the bottleneck now? These insert is the bottleneck. Why? Nothing, really. No, looks good. It always has enough gears, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with this. I mean, it's fast enough. It's not perfect, but it's fast enough. 
Okay. So, what are you attacking? You're breaking lasers? What? They're actually destroyed lasers. Ow! It's not nice. It's not nice at all. We'll have to remake some. We need to automate the making of those uh, quite badly. You know, steel. These are these attacks are becoming a bit more vicious than I was hoping for so early. These guns do well, really well. Uh, one of the issues, of course, is that we don't uh, that we didn't make a uh, a wall around our entire perimeter. Ah, uh, I'll do for now, I guess. The wall will definitely help because then we can sort of bottleneck them into one specific area or even across the entire wall, but it's going to be much uh, more easy to manage. Okay, so this now has everything we could possibly want. Um, the only thing we need to change is that uh, one of the belts will come in this way. I guess technically we could make this one come from here as well, but why? They're attacking again, they're damaging some stuff, but it doesn't look like they're destroying anything, so that's good. Also, we're not researching, that's always a bad sign. Um, so, I could go for these. That's only 100, so let's do that. And then we need to split this. Again, we don't have split it, let's... Let's build 10 at a time. Um... Yeah. That's better. Then we could just do this instead. You really don't need to do that. Just do that. That's it. And oh no no no! I don't no! I don't want you merging. <laughs> you can just go there, and you can go under for that little bit when it's needed. Okay, perfect. I mean, it's but ugly, but uh, it's working. Okay, so these batteries, um, we're gonna have to expand this later down the track. But I guess we'll just bolt right through it. And not worry about it at all. Because why would we, right? There's no, no reason for us to, uh, to worry. Okay, so... Man, I love this game, by the way. <laughs> it's so good. I could spend my entire night doing this and not even, like... It's one of the few games where I literally can get lost. I don't have it in... At least I can't remember any other game that does this to me. Even Minecraft doesn't. I still rem rem uh, remember the time. But for this, it's just so engaging, man. Okay, done. Very done. Very, very nice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six on either side. Very good. And I think we can just do slow inserters because... Yeah, that'll be fine. Now see that these don't have any red circuits. This is very bad. This means that we're just not going to be making any signs. Or basically any signs. And I don't know about you, but uh, I think we need to get robots. Soonish. Because robots are cool. Oh, put one of these everywhere. I love hooking this stuff up. Look, this looks looks amazing. Alright. And this one. Put a pole between them. Some lights. Very, very nice. 
and uh, we'll do it there as well. More lights just for for the heck of it. It's gonna cost power, but hey, it's fine. Okay, so now because I still don't know the shortcut because I'm lazy and uh, can't look for it. It has to do something with shift clicking or something, but control clicking, but it's fine. What well, it cost me a total of five seconds extra. So these are now all making the lovely blue signs. Blue signs will go along this belt, will be put into these signs machines when it's needed, and uh, we can start to get advanced oil processing. This is very, very, very important because once we get that, we can build. Uh, well, not built book. We can change these refineries to the other type. And it'll make less heavy oil. It'll make less light oil. And instead, it'll be making more petroleum. So right now, actually, we might need some more crude oil as well. Yeah. Oh, that's our problem. Huh. Really? Okay. All right, I can make some more pump jacks. It's not an issue. Also, this worries me. There's no iron ore coming in. Not enough. There must be something wrong with our supply. Now, we need to make some more pump jacks. They're a bit of a pain to make. They take forever, but uh, it's important. Can we make more? No, because we need normal iron ore. Okay. See how that's drying up a little bit? It's a big problem. Okay, so we can make one, two more. Three more here. And I can uncover some of these. There's a few more under, like here. The yield on these are very low. Like you see on the right side hand, he's uh, right hand side corner, you can see yield 200%, yield 127. 127 is abysmal. Like you don't even want to mine it really. It's that bad. Um, 137 is just horrible 124 is horrible so ideally i would love them to have about 300 would be the the best if we can get something with 300 we i'd be over the moon i'm just gonna make all my pump jacks whatever now what we can do is go um north a little bit i think we'll do that in the next episode um I'm just going to take a quick break here. It's been uh, just over 20 minutes. So thanks you for watching and I will see you next time.